My name is Rob Britton. I'm from Victoria, British Columbia in Canada. I am a professional cyclist for Factor Bicycles amongst other awesome partners. And uh, yeah, today we are in Duncan, British Columbia getting ready for Belgian Wall for Ride Canada. The first Belgian Wall for Ride outside of the United States. So far the season has been a bit of a mixed bag. The first race was Belgian Wall for Ride California and that went much better than last year. I think I came in like ninth or 10th or something. Uh, the year before, I was walking a bike numerous times, so this is a big improvement. And then Sea Otter was kind of the second race. It's a bit disappointing. I had someone take out my front wheel in the first six kilometers, so that was the end of my day there. A couple weeks ago at uh, Oregon Gravel Grinder, I had a great prologue, I won that. I was second in stage two, and things were looking good for stage three, but uh, I ran into a rock and bent my chain ring basically in half, so I uh, spent the rest of the race just, uh, yeah, chasing. So it's it's been a mixed season, but I think the form is coming on really good right now for uh, this race. I think it goes without saying, like, this is a pretty important race to me. Not only is it a big race being a Belgian Waffle Series ride, but you don't get the opportunity to race at home very often. And talk about a home race, it doesn't get much closer than this. I'll have my wife, mother-in-law, my family out here, close friends, so yeah, like this race means a lot. Knowing the course as well as I do, obviously I've, I've spent years and years riding out here, so this is quite literally my backyard. You know, some of the sections on the Great Trail of this course I know probably better than anybody, period. Yeah, obviously that feeling of a home court advantage and like that feeling of like a home race is like a very, very special and very unique and very rare thing, especially in professional cycling. So. To have all of that come together is it's a pretty incredible feeling. So this is my Oscar Gravel Sea Wolf or Coastal Wolf Edition. As far as design goes, there's no difference to a standard Oscar Gravel. It's just this amazing paint job. I have ridden a lot of bikes, we've got quite a few gravel bikes now, I guess, over the years. And this is far and away the fastest bike I've ever ridden. Uh, obviously, like, as you can tell, it's a very aerodynamic design. There's no cables out here. It's actually, at a glance, almost identical to the Austro Vam, which is a rocket ship of the world tour. Other things that make this bike kind of unique are my classified uh, power shift hub. That allows me to essentially run in this crazy one by 50 tooth on the front with an 1134 on the back. And uh, with the classified system, that gives me a ratio of 50, 34 with the virtual drop down gear. I'm running Schwalbe G1 RS tires. Uh, these are 35 Cs. The course just has a lot of road, so I think they'll be pretty fast for that. Shimano and Easton complement the rest of the build kit. And then uh, homeboys over in Vancouver, the reform guys set me up with these custom molded saddles, so my butt's pretty happy for all 220K. The design for the bike, uh, I kind of have an affection towards wolves and being out here on the west coast, uh, coastal wolves especially. Uh, they're a unique breed that kind of evolved to uh, survive and kind of you know, do a pretty good job of it, and they're pretty, uh, pretty special creatures. My goals coming into 2023 were a mixed bag. Last year, I'd say I was on the back foot for most of the year, just trying to figure it out. You know, I was definitely running a shoestring budget for what I wanted to do. I didn't know if I'd be able to do it again in 2023, so I wanted to do as much as I possibly could in 2022. So this year, uh, I'm hoping that my form is a lot better. I'm training again, which helps, I find. In addition to that, I just have a ton of aspiration to do some other really cool rides, establishing an FKT across Vancouver Island from Port Hardy down to Victoria off-road. Some more ultra stuff, which I'm kind of trending towards. So Badlands and then across Andes later in the year. So yeah, 2023 is definitely a mix of more personal exploration of like what I can do physically and also yeah, honing in and like doing what this bike will obviously do best is just like go bloody fast and yeah, see what the results stack up at the end.
race. Like it split up on um, Maple. Mountain bikers pushed it a bit. I came back together pretty well, but you know, I think we had a group of maybe 30. And then the climb just after Waldorf School before Cobble Hill. I know that like that whole area, you know, I've ridden tons. This is like that closer to Sean, I'm getting like, you know, we're hitting like my territory. And uh, so I pushed on that climb, trying to force uh, not so much a separation, like, a, you know, break per se, but just like to get rid of people who are maybe not quite doing their fair share, just to like motivate the group maybe. It was nice to get winning on this bike on my first race at home. Like, yeah, for everything to come together like that. It does, you can make a plan, but it doesn't mean, yeah, things work out, so. So Unbound's next. I mean, man, I think right now my biggest plan is to try to <laughs> plug the holes after this race, probably. Damage was done, but um, yeah, Unbound would be next, and we'll go backwards from there.